Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the member forces in this truss using method of joints. Now let us find the vertical reactions. In the point A, we have to find the vertical reaction VA. For that, I am going to take a moment about to see. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anti-clockwise will be negative. VA is acting in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive. And the distance is 5 plus 2.5. So 7.5. This load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So it will be negative. And the distance is 2.5. So minus 3 into 2.5. Finally, for the vertical reaction VA, we are getting 1 kilo Newton. Now, let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. And to find VC, VA and VC are acting upwards. So, both of them are positive. The load 3 is acting downwards. So, it is negative. Let us apply the value of VA, which is 1. Finally, for Vc, we are getting 2 kN. Now, we are going to find the member forces. First, let us take the joint A and find the member forces. In the joint A, we have the forces in AB, AD. Also, we have the vertical reaction 1. In this joint, first, we have to apply the rule. Sigma V is equal to 0. Because when we apply this rule, there will be only one unknown that is FAD. The angle 30 degree is given in the question. We can easily find this angle 90 minus 30, we will get 60. We have to make FAD vertical. So we have to multiply FAD with the cos 60. When we make it vertical, it will be acting upwards. So FAD should be applied as positive. This reaction is acting upwards, so it is also positive. Finally, for FAD, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Now, let us apply the rule. Sigma H is equal to 0. We have to make FAD horizontal. To make FAD horizontal, we need 30 degree. So, we have to multiply FAD with the cos 30. When we make it horizontal, it will be acting towards the right side. So, it should be applied as positive. FAB is acting towards the right side. So, it is also positive. Just before, we have calculated the value of FAD, which is compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply FAD as negative. Finally, for FAB, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. Now, let us take the joint C and find the member forces. In the joint C, we have the member forces in CB and in CD. Also, we have the vertical reaction to in the joint C. First, we have to apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 because when we apply this rule, there will be only one unknown that is FCD. We have to make FCD vertical to make it vertical, we need 60 degree. So we have to multiply FCD with the cos 60. When we make it vertical, it will be acting upwards. So it should be applied as positive. The reaction is acting upwards. So it is also positive. Finally, for FCD, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. We have to make FCD horizontal. To make it horizontal, we need 30 degree. So we have to multiply FCD with the cos 30. When we make it horizontal, it will be acting towards the left side. So it should be applied as negative. FBC is acting towards the left side. So it is also negative. We have calculated the value of FCD 4 and it is compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply that as negative. Here, we have already a negative sign. So, negative into negative, it will become positive. Finally, for FBC, 
we will get a positive value that means it is tensile now let us take the joint b in the joint b we have the forces in ba bc and in bd also we have a vertical load 3 kN in the joint b only we have to find the member force fbd to find that let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 we know this angle 60 degree this angle is 90 minus 60 we will get to 30 we have to make fbd vertical to make it vertical we need 30 degree so we have to multiply fbd with the cos 30 when we make it vertical it will be acting upwards so it should be applied as positive the load is acting downwards so it should be applied as negative finally for fbd we will get a positive value that means it is tensile we have calculated all of the member forces now let us make a table in the table first let us enter the members then the force and then the nature of the forces now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video